had a feeling you'd come back and save me From all those lonely nights and heartbreaks And I feel misplaced without you Why don't we go back to, why don't we go back to Oh hi morning okay does anyone else's cat do this i am trying to make the bed and he will just not have it i mean i already have to work around her and he will not let me make the bed you nut job you just want to snuggle huh <laughs> okay bed made i'm really glad you're comfortable and weren't disturbed Starting off the vlog officially. I have not started yet. Hi, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. I have not vlogged in a really long time. So yeah, picking up the camera. I've just, I talked about this in one of my last videos. I just have been dealing with a lot of insecurities and I think because of the state of the world, we just have a lot more time to think about things. And I just, have felt insecure vlogging so picking up the camera getting it done today and i'm getting vaccinated today which is crazy like so cool the reason i'm getting vaccinated is because i'm an emt so i have priority <sighs> i'm so excited like this has been so long in the making and i'm so thankful to everyone that made the vaccine and distributes the vaccine and administers the vaccine it's just it's so exciting and it's such a cool thing. So I'm really excited for that. I'll take you along. But first things first, I have, wow, my hair is so short. Still getting used to that. I have a six mile run that I'm gonna do inside because I'm a baby and it's really cold outside. So yeah, let's go get that done. Got done. I'm so tired and sweaty. Does anyone else sweat 10 million times more on the treadmill? Like, I'm not this sweaty on a regular run. I don't know. Let me know. And look who's still sleeping. <laughs> You're so cute. You're so tired. All done. All vaccinated. Got my little vaccine kit and my little card. Wow. That didn't take long at all. I had to wait like 15 minutes after my shot just to make sure I didn't have any reactions. Good morning. It looks so cute. <laughs> I did not vlog at all the rest of the day. I just, my arm was really sore after the vaccination. Like very, very sore very quickly. So, I don't know, I was kind of feeling not great. But not much happened last night. We just made dinner. And went to sleep and I FaceTimed my sister so that was really nice um, but yeah my arm was really sore it's a lot better now I took uh, Tylenol last night and kind of iced it and I was able to sleep on it after a little while so yeah but I have so much to do today so starting with another six mile run I don't know if I'm gonna do it outside or not it's like it's fine outside it's just cold and cloudy I need to suck it up and do it but I have not decided yet. I might just do it inside, honestly. We'll see. Hi, what are you doing up here? Huh? Help me. Hi, cute boy. Just made some lunch. It looks so good. Avocado egg toast. You already know. I also forgot to mention, or did I mention this, that my run was seven miles, not six miles, because <laughs> I'm kind of I'm kind of trying to front load my training for this week because it's going to rain, snow, rain, some snow tomorrow and I don't want to run outside so I'll be on the treadmill and I'd rather do miles on the road instead of the treadmill so yeah that's what I'm doing there and I don't normally recommend like front loading your training but my mileage is so low right now that it really doesn't make a difference so yeah. That's what I'm doing. That's why my run was seven miles and my run will be either four or five tomorrow. I don't remember. I didn't vlog any of it, but I just made Irish soda bread. 
Oh my God, this turned out so well. I had to bake it for a little bit longer than it said. I don't know why, but the middle needed some more baking. Oh, this is so good. Unreal. I got the recipe from Sally's Baking Addiction. Sunbathing herself down there. She's so cute. She just loves to lay in the sun. <laughs> she loves to sunbathe like that, but I have to be really, really careful and keep a good watch on her because we have such a problem with hawks and I just my biggest fear is a hawk swooping down and getting her, so I have to be really, really careful and watch her, but she's so happy. Like, she's so happy out there. But we do have huge hawks that just fly overhead. It is really, really scary. Hi, Sunny Bunny. Yeah. Oh my gosh, hi. Yeah, I've done it now, huh? Belly rubs in the sun. <laughs> Just eating some yogurt with strawberries and cinnamon and itemizing some receipts. In the mirror again, this is honestly just how I feel comfortable vlogging right now. I don't know. Let's just bear with me. Anyways, I wanted to kind of touch on finances and sharing finances with your significant other if you're living together, that kind of thing. So Dan and I have been together for five and a half, almost five and a half years now. And we've been living together a little bit over a year. So the way we kind of go about it is we split everything, but not necessarily right down the middle. Like if it's furniture or things for the pets, that kind of thing, we, and it's something that we both agreed on, we'll split down the middle. But like if I get something that I wanted and he necessarily didn't really want, I'll pay for it and vice versa. And when we go grocery shopping, this is kind of just how it makes sense in my head. Like, we don't split the total right down the middle because sometimes I'll get things and I just eat them or he just eats them. Like, for example, I eat Greek yogurt and he doesn't and he eats tuna and I don't. So it's like, why it doesn't make sense and I don't feel right, like, him paying for my Greek yogurt where, like, it's like $3 but in the grand scheme of things it adds up. Sorry this mirror is so gross i will be <laughs> sure to clean it anyways that's kind of how we split things and yeah so like when i was saying i was itemizing receipts like i just go through and write a little d next to the things that dan has to pay for and j next to the things that i have to pay for and then we split everything else down the middle and it's a little bit more a little bit more tedious but that's just what makes sense to me so everybody's different you kind of have to learn to read your partner or like have a discussion with your partner about that but yeah we have been together for so long and we just that's just what makes sense to both of us so that's what I meant when I was itemizing receipts but the other thing is I wanted to show you guys this thing from Trader Joe's these cookies from Trader Joe's that I had literally since I was a kid like they've been around for so long and I don't know why I never saw them before I guess I never like perused the cookie aisle with like the cookie big containers like the big plastic containers normally I look for like Jojo's and that kind of thing but I was and I found them and it was such a major throwback so I had to get them let me show you these guys chocolatey cat cookies for people I like how they specify oh my gosh they're so good I'm gonna have some right after I'm done filming this just gonna open them but I don't <sighs> let me know if you've had these growing up because they've been around Trader Joe's for literally ever they are so good. Focus. Little tiger. So cute. Just got done with a six mile run. Hold on six miles and the elevation is like a little bit higher here it's not crazy but it definitely makes it a little tougher to run but look at that view oh my gosh that's everything's worth it
okay, I have to whisper because Dan is still asleep. But I made my usual oats. Just hot. Hot oats. Like stovetop oats. Same ingredients as I normally make with my overnight oats. And I probably made a good call not making these last night and making overnight oats instead because it is freezing. Go see your mom. I'll be right back, okay? Go get her. Go get her. Go get her. I'll be right back. My God! A little bit of coffee. What you doing with your coffee? Okay. What'd you put in it before? Stevia. Do you want this? <laughs> what? That. That? For that? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Penny, hey, stop. 